Well, for 20 frantic fruitless years I worked in Dublin town, reporting for newspapers I was busy writing down, all the words of politicians in my endless quest for truth. T'was at such a wasted exercise I squandered all my youth. That's the cause of my misfortune, as I'll explain to you. For I find myself now talking like politicians do. <laughs> and if anyone should ask me, do I take sugar in my tea? I grasp them firmly by the hand, and this is what I say. Well, I'm very glad you asked me that. <laughs> For at this point in time, in the circumstances that prevail, there is in the pipeline, infrastructural implications interfaced with lines of thought, which lead to grassroots viabilities, which at this time I'd rather not enunciate in ambiguities, but rather seek to find. Negotiated compromises, which are the bottom line, for full and frank discussion, which would serve to integrate with basic fundamental principles to which we all relate. <laughs> Not in doctrinaire philosophy, which any fool can see, an inescapable hypothesis confronting you and me. So in the interest of the common good, now you need never fear, for I've got the matter well in hand, and I'm glad I've made things clear. <laughs> That's the chorus. <laughs> Now, as you can imagine, this has greatly changed my life. An example was the fateful day on which I wed my wife. All went well until the moment the priest asked me with a smile, do you take this woman for your wife? And swiftly I replied, well, I'm very glad you asked me that. <laughs> for at this point in time, in the circumstances that prevail, there is in the pipeline, infrastructural implications interfaced with lines of thought, which lead to grassroots viabilities, which at this time I'd rather not enunciate in ambiguities, but rather seek to find negotiated compromises, which are the bottom line, for full and frank discussion, which would serve to integrate with basic fundamental principles to which we all relate. Not in doctrinaire philosophy, which any fool can see, an inescapable hypothesis confronting you and me. So in the interest of the common good, now you need never fear, for I've got the matter well in hand, and I'm glad I've made things clear. <clears throat> now I'm lying in my deathbed, and I'm filled with mortal dread, for I know that very shortly I will certainly be dead. And when St. Peter asks me if I'd like to come on in, <laughs> I'm sure to face damnation, for I know I'll say to him, well, I'm very glad you asked me that. <laughs> for at this point in time, in the circumstances that prevail, there is in the pipeline, infrastructural implications interfaced with lines of thought which lead to grassroots viabilities, which at this time I'd rather not enunciate in ambiguities, but rather seek to find. Negotiated compromises, which are the bottom line, for full and frank discussion, which would serve to integrate with basic fundamental principles to which we all relate, not in doctrinaire philosophy, which any fool can see. And in a Capable hypothesis confronting you and me. So, in the interest of the common good, now you need never fear, for I've got the matter well in hand, and I'm glad I've made things clear. <laughs> the sound of Colin Sands with Mickey McCollum's song, and that's the politician's song.